Hi, thanks for hitting play today. My name's Lance, and I got this fancy little button now so I don't have to be running back and forth to the camera. Uh, I just got a canvas up here. It's a 9 by 12. It's a panel, and it's taped on uh, with some blue tape on the back, so hopefully it doesn't fall off today. And I put, uh, I just painted my blackboard black here. Maybe, I don't know. I can, I, I see how that goes. Uh, anyway, I sketched out Mount Everest, which is the tallest mountain in the world. It's about 29,000 plus feet. And that's it right there, and this is the surrounding areas. But this this painting shouldn't take too long. It should be fun. I just put some light on it. I'm going to put a lot of sky in it, and then we'll come in and do some mountains and maybe get the knife going with it. Um, uh, so I'm going to position the camera. Here's what my palette looks like. I've got some white. Naples yellow, I might put that in for the highlights. Uh, this is just a uh, Prussian blue. This is magnesium blue. I'm going to try that in the sky. And uh, this is a base color for the mountain, dark bluish, got a, different, a bunch of colors in it, and some crimson, and some white. So, um, yeah, I'm sure everybody's heard of Mount Everest. So let's come in here, and I'm going to try to set this up and zoom in on it so you can see it. How's that? Is that going to work there? Let's go down a little bit there. Okay, and that will be good. I'm a little crooked, but uh, that's okay. I want to be able to... I'll probably bang and hit the, the camera post and things, so it's just hard to... There, maybe that'll be better. Get my foot in the way. Okay, all right. We'll lock her in and get started. And all I do when I say I'm locking it in is I... Uh, I just want to make sure it stays focused on this and not my hand. Okay, let's start with some uh, magnesium blue. And I like this color. Oh yeah, get a little more of that. It's It seems to be easy to work with. Oh, okay. And I should start at the top. I'm just tapping, see? Tapping like that. Start up here at the top and just go back and forth, make little, it's gonna be very, uh, no clouds. It's just a pristine day. I just took this, I f saw this picture online, so. And, let's see. There. See, I'm just, there's white under here, so it's giving a little, there, let's add a little more. And, let's do that, and then down here, see, just kind of coming in. I want to make sure, I like this blue, because it doesn't cover up my, I want the mountain to look good. That's why I cheated and sketched. But what I try to do is make this painting go a little faster. And that's why I put the sketch in. And I won't be messing around as much. And I'm trying to get my these down to under 45 minutes. But it doesn't always work that way. Okay. There. There. And down here we'll do the same thing. These can be covered up though with some clouds probably, but that's okay. It'll look good. You know, down there is going to be the base. There. This is a good little brush. I, I, I've said it before. I think I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. Of course, this probably went up now with inflation. It's probably three ninety nine. Sorry. Okay. All right. There we go. So. See what I'm doing, and I'm just gonna blend that. I ain't worried about the bottom, I'll figure that out. But and there's hairs in there, these brushes like to shed, but that's okay. So we've got some good color there, okay? I like that. Come up here, and this this color is not gonna be magnesium blue. Is I mean, it's gonna be hard to darken it, but what I'm gonna do and see down here is good. Come back in and kind of lighten the base up a little if you want doesn't matter there. I'm going to grab some phthalo blue or Prussian blue. Okay? And all you do is you can just tap it on your brush. If you get globs on it, it's going to be a little puffer. Meaning if you uh, get too much in. I don't know if I want that much in there. Let's see what happens there. See that? I'm just going to come across and then I'm going to crisscross that in. Just kind of make it look like that. Okay. And I just want to bring that down into here. Light. Lighter strokes, okay? And we'll kind of give a little more of a, let's get a little more on there, up top here, there. You can blotch it in. Okay. 
right? There. Like that. And then you can kind of slowly, I think what we'll do is and bring that down, okay? And I don't know if we'll see any down here, but we'll put some down here too, okay? Like this, the clouds will probably, you need something underneath there for the clouds to come in. Okay, so that basically what that does is it brings, uh, you know, your, your horizon, you know, as you get farther away, gets lighter. And that's why we want it lighter here and here, and then it should, and it should bring your eye into the painting. All right, I'm gonna take this brush, just a big, big brush, come back and forth, blend all this, and I wanna bring all that down. See, it's easy. This is easy, blending with oils is super easy when you're, when you have something on the canvas already, or, or anything, they blend very easy, so. Not bad, how's our angle? Can you see that okay? Yeah, gosh, I wish I could get straight behind it, but. Uh. Someday maybe I'll be able to do better cameras angles and stuff. Pretty nice in Montana today. So fall's coming. Fall is coming, I can tell you. Okay, so that don't look too bad. I think that'll work out. So um, I think we'll just leave it like that and uh, get started here. I could make it darker, uh, but I'm not going to. Not today. Okay. So let's see. I want that to get dirty. That there. I do have a little cheat sheet over here in the background, but I'm gonna try. It'll probably fall off of there, but uh, maybe actually I'll put it over here. It's always fun to have something to look at, and then it looks better. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, take, take. Again, I'm just gonna use one of these here, this little brush, and I'm gonna start with. Actually, we gotta do our clouds, don't we? I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start out and try with a. A fan brush and see how that goes. I'm just going to take some white, okay, up here in the sky. Grab some white on my fan brush and I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start the clouds right up in about here. Okay, I'm just going to push in and now we'll see how this goes up and down. Okay, see what I'm doing there? I don't know. I honestly haven't done this before, so I, let's see. I'm just kind of rocking it so you get little, little things in the top and then in the bottom. And that's not sticking very well. So, give me a fresh piece of tape. Okay, there, let's put that there. Okay, and then we'll come in and put that there, maybe. My cheater. My cheater picture I'm looking at, okay? And I wanna get a little, a little color in there. That would bring it down a little bit. The clouds a little bit. There we go. There. There we go. And I'm just trying to layer them, okay? There. Maybe get a touch of that uh, crimson in there. Make them a little, there, just a little. Maybe that'll do. There, that's what I want. Looks better, I think. There. These are distant, right? Distant, distant, very little. Not much going on. Okay, and then come back in and just kind of do the same thing here. I might even try, I've had another brush ready to go. I'm going to try this one. It's a little softer. Load some paint on there. Just come in and try to open the bristles up on it. Oh, that looks good. I like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, some more paint. And just moving it around. The clouds are flat. Okay. Push up in there a little bit. Keep it up. There. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Take this big brush and I'm going to just kind of go over them. Okay, as we're doing it, they got to be faint back there. There. Okay, grab some more white. And we're just kind of working our way forward down. You can put little things here and there and come back and mess with them. Go down here, more, more clouds. I don't know, that looks pretty good, that brush. Okay, 
Ooh, a little more crimson in there. There's, there's a little red in them. Oh yeah. I'm gonna touch up here and we're just gonna make them. Okay. Okay. There we go. More. More. Keep going. There'll be some areas in there. Okay. Now as it gets closer to you, they're gonna be smaller, maybe just some little. Okay. Less things going on. Got some more white. And I could have made the background uh, darker, the sky, but not a big deal. There. Once again, thanks for checking out the channel today. It's doing pretty good. Better than I thought it would. <laughs> okay, and again, I'm just going to come over and I'm just going to lightly. I'm just barely touching. Okay. Smaller and smaller. Okay. As we get closer down here, there might be some stuff going on. Just have fun. Clouds are free, right? Down here, just some little indications. You can lighten this up a little bit. Down in here, okay. Just want to lighten that up a little bit. And when we come and put in the mountain, that's going to make it stand out a little better. There. What do you think of that? A little more skinny, okay. So we up here, we can come in and you know, make these a little cooler up there because they're closer, right? And I like this brush, actually does a good job. Okay, a little bit there, whatever. And again, we'll come back in, clean that off a little bit, and just slightly kind of pull these over. Just barely touch them. Just soften them so they sit back. And then you kind of, how's that look? All right, doesn't look too bad. Okay, I wish I'd make it a little darker, but that's okay, what the heck. And then maybe this one here comes down and has a little a white up in there. Get some pure white up there. And there, see? Just sits in front of that one. Just dance this brush around. There's one there. Just throw the paint on and dance it around. And Kind of stands out a little more. Come back up here and highlight that one a little bit more. If you want it to stick out a little more, come back in with this brush. Just barely touch. Barely touch. There. There, I think that's enough for our sky. I don't think we need to do anything else. Because if I keep at it, it will take me a while. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna come in and we're gonna start putting in the dark parts of our mountain here, okay? So, let's get looking at it here. I wanna have a, uh, I'm gonna grab this dark color and this is the, the light's gonna be coming from this way today, okay? So, you know what we gotta do? We're just gonna kinda come in here and, oops, I didn't, what did I just say, the light? Come in here and just, we're gonna do shadows first, okay? This ain't gonna be exact, but it's gonna be like, should look all right. Okay, for Everest, and it's ratty, and this is Summit right there. That's what everybody's trying to get to. And it kind of comes over. See, I'm just scrubbing in some dark. Dark paint here, and there's a little peak back there. That's a dark, and I'm using this little brush to give me some control, okay? Pull that down, we'll come back in. This is dry, so. You know, we're gonna come back in and I'm just trying to find some dark areas in here. And uh, you know, this here goes up and just pull some dark areas down in there. Where I want some darks, that comes down here maybe. Fix that. And there's a lot of stuff here. There. And it takes, you know, this brush is kind of slow, but and come in and probably cover in most of it, okay? We're kind of getting some ideas of there and then down here. This is going to be a dark ridge there that's going to come down. We can pull it that way. We'll kind of try to use the lay of the land. See? There's one. Over here, this is all dark here, okay? I don't know, that's kind of that little slope there, and that comes this way, see? So we got all that in there, my hand's getting in the paint, which is fine. There, 
Okay, we're kind of getting our, our shadows established. Um, and I think I'm gonna wait and do the clouds at the bottom last, okay? Because then, because I'm probably gonna have my hand monkeying around in them a lot. So that comes down that way. Again, this probably won't be exact, but there's some stuff there that comes this way a little bit. Some dark up here. Now this side is, there's dark there. This is gonna have a little bit coming down there. Split that in half. And then over here, well, there's a little bit back in there too. A little peek in there. I'll put him in there. We'll lighten that up when this comes down. Kind of like that. And I'm just adding in, and this whole this whole thing will come right down in front. And that'll sit back there. I'm just trying to eyeball what I have over here and make some indications. You know, these are pretty red. These mountains are aggressive. And this kind of comes this way though here. Okay. See, I'm trying to establish. This one comes down this way. Okay. Well, that really that this little piece comes here. Okay. Okay, there's just a lot of angles here. This angle goes that way. You know, I'll get some dark in there. And I'm just trying to make them look good. This little angle here. That kind of comes down, it looks like. There. So there. How's that looking? Does this start to look like maybe uh, Mount Everest? Make you want to climb it? <laughs> Let me get a sip of, mm. a sip of coffee. Let's see how we're looking here. 16 minutes and this is not too bad. Sometimes I'll step back cause, and I'll take my glasses off because I can see good, kind of good with them off. And then sometimes it looks better when you're, when you take your glasses off and See, this all comes down, and I might have should have given that a little bit. This is going to have some, you know, there's a little bit in here. And we're going to have some highlights in here. I might use the knife on some of it, but but we know where this all kind of comes this way. And we're just having fun here. Then there's all kinds of little, and this kind of is a jaggedy little, this all comes kind of, let's see, down. There's a little more right in there. It's just the way it goes. All right, not bad. All right, what am I gonna do next here? Let's come back in and we've got some darks and stuff. Let's come back in and pull that same brush. Actually, I'll grab a different one and see if we can't get some white on there, okay? I'm gonna mix the white, get a little blue in it, okay? I'm gonna take some white. Maybe that magnesium blue is what I want. Yeah, there, see? My white from the other day. And we're gonna come in and put some, uh, kind of put in some, maybe some little highlights on it and kind of try to break down where we're gonna have some of our, see? See, you just let the brush bounce and, and move around and let it go. Now we're distant, so we can't have, you know, our lights can't be pure white, okay? Not pure white. You have a little bad in there, maybe. I have a little, oh, dull it down a little bit with some, I have some brown over here, just a little bit. See how that looks there. That looks good. Hey, watch. Just pull it down. Yeah, I don't want too much brown in there. We can go back over it, but I'm just trying to uh, establish some, maybe that comes down. This this little brush oof, gives me good control. We're gonna leave that, that piece back there dark. There's a little bit of, White up here, okay, is that too much? Let's get back, get some more white on there, okay? Get some blue, there we go, I'll come back in here and we can come back in and throw some good color on there, okay? And that's pretty dark over there and it kind of comes down. You wanna have a little, some ridges in there, you know, make it look real. Mountains are not too hard to do. And this one here has a little peak in the back there. See that, he's, he's back there a ways. We'll probably shove him back a little more and we'll probably darken up our shadows, so. Okay, over here, we're gonna pull some white down here. And I'm just pulling it. It's mixing, so you know what? I'm just gonna use some pure white. Maybe some, what else can I put in there, you know? And you're gonna have a little bit in here. 
come back in. I could do a liner brush too. But this seems to be giving me my, okay. It comes over like that. I'm move my stool because I don't want to trip over it all day. Okay. All right, let's see where we're at here. We come back in here and get a little highlight there on these hills. Okay, highlight coming right here. Come up here a little bit, pull that up. A little peak there, some stuff happening there. See, I like the way this looks. It's uh, not, not doing too bad. I'm gonna come in and get a little more of that blue. Okay, get some white in there and start making that mountain color. Maybe get a little blue on there, okay? I don't want it, we gotta tone it a little different. So let's get some of this in there, there. That looks pretty good. And we'll come back in and we got some darks that we had. We can come back in and put some more darks in there, but we'll do a duller here, a little blue there. Okay, let's fill some of this in. And then we can come back and decide what we want to do. Okay, so we've got a lot of empty spots here. A little more white in there. There we go. See that? We figured that comes that way. That's going to go across. You really can't mess this up. You just keep keep going and going until you find right in here. We gotta get some blue back in there. You just keep put, moving the brush around until it gets to where uh, you want it. You know, you're gonna have some there. And I'm gonna use, I think, kind of come in here, see? I'm gonna probably end up using a little bit of uh, my knife today. There, over there. Of white, oh, I guess I get all that came out. And that kind of comes this way. There's a little peak right there. There, how's that look? Does it get any better? <laughs> if anything, it could be like a uh, um, what do I say? It could be a I might have to explain the painting. Okay, <clears throat> not bad, not bad. So, let's see here. Darks, lights, and darks and lights, and, and all that good stuff. So let's come back in and get some more dark. You know what I think I'm gonna, I should throw on here, yes. Oh, I do have crumbs in there, okay. I was thinking of taking, I'm gonna mix some of this mountain color right here with some crimson, and that's gonna darken it up. Much more of that than crimson. See, can you see that? See what it's going to do here when I really want some dark areas. Barrenness. Oh, there we go. There we go. Peaks and things right there. See, and I'm just letting the brush. Because our wrist is dark, really, over here. It's dark, too. Okay. Peace. Pull that down. Does that look a little more? Does that make it look a little better? Dark, and then this one here, it's gonna be dark right here as well. That little peak is gonna be dark. Some of this is gonna be dark in here. Okay. Like that. Now this one here is gonna be dark this way. Back there, there. Want that to come this way. There we go, over there. And we've got some of this here, a little darker up top here. There. So now you can see some good, some stuff happening there. This is kind of giving us a little more. This is dark here. I want that darker. Like that. A little more of that color. I should wipe my brush off when I'm getting some of that, but this piece comes down here. And in here, you know, there's a little crevice in here. Pull that in and a little more color. More pink in there. Come on down over here. You know, these are just mountain. There, we're going to kind of bring it this way. And then down below here, it's going to come out. And then we'll kind of leave it there. So I think that's looking pretty good here. Okay, maybe we got a little peak right in 
and this is going to come all the way down. Okay, it comes down, but goes up a little right there. And then it's going to make, that's going to come over like that. And then there's a little peak right here. We're going to put in there. Yeah. Move that around and then we might come in and I might come in and get the old knife out here in a minute. Okay. Down below here, darken some of that up. You know, we've got light spots and stuff. Yeah, okay, let's swap this one down here. We'll have a little edge right in there too. Give it a little more character. I think that'll look good there. So, okay. All right, there it is there. I think that'll work. It's pretty good for now, I think. And then I want to come in the bottom here, actually, and do some. Where is my, this guy right here. I'm gonna start down, okay, and just kind of pull some of this down. Okay, because this is gonna be, look at that. See? And follow your angles, pull straight down here. Okay, pull there. And these almost keep coming, you know? This one we can pull that way. See? This might be a good time to, just knock off a little paint on this little brush here. But look how soft that is, how it works. Very good. And that's what we want, because the clouds are going to come in and just... I might want to go up a little more. I don't want to lose it all, but... Okay, I'm going to have like a cloud coming right... Right over it. So basically that just makes it stand up and look like it's floating, which it looks like... In, that I'm trying to do, and then the clouds are going to come in the bottom there. You can come in and add some white with this brush. See what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. This turned out pretty good. I was kind of concerned at first, but I don't know why. Maybe that one goes that way. And then get a little more white. There. There. How's that? Mm. I like that. Okay, then we can come down and then we can use this brush too. Do I want to use that one? Yeah, pull. And then follow your shots, strokes up. Wipe this off a little more and just kind of maybe come in here and blend it out. There. There. How's that look? Okay. Not too bad. We'll take it. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to get out one, a couple of knives and see how that's going to go because I think this is going to look a lot better when we get some knife work in there. And this is the point where I'll step back and kind of blur my my uh, my eyes a little. I'm going to grab some white here and put a little yellow ochre in it, okay? Not yellow ochre, Naples yellow. And we're going to come in and see about some highlights here. Or actually, maybe we should do our... I'm going to grab that, that mountain color and some crimson. And I'm going to try to get in maybe some phthalo blue. I'm going to try to get in a little more, some darks. A bit of that in there. Okay. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my knife. And I'm going to come over here and just kind of do some... And we kind of got some touching in there, but I'm just going to touch some spots here. Okay. See? Just letting it bounce around. How's that look? Just touching. And I'm getting some darker areas in there. Almost comes down this way, doesn't it? Everest. There. How's that look? I think that looks pretty good. It's very... I'm going to throw a little bit of white in there, though. Just a little bit. I like it. It's, I mean, there's some dark, but... And there's some touching. Okay, this is hard to do with this guy, but there, okay. And then there's gonna be some stuff on this side. You're gonna have a little bit of things happening. We'll just take this and put a little bit of indications on this. See? Little indications of things, and it doesn't have to be as dark. You can have little holes in there. And see what I'm trying to do is just, I could work on this all day, but I can't. Down. Maybe that's where base camp is. I don't know. I've never 
I've watched a lot of documentaries on it, but I've never really had much. Okay, and we'll go over here. Watch this right here. Get that in there. I should have waited on some of these, but I'm just trying to get some good little things looking in here. Dark in here, right here. See? There we go. And over here, there's dark coming this way. I just want to touch. I'll just kind of let the brush hit my brush. I don't know why I call the, you know, and just pull that that way. Sometimes down, maybe just throw a little there. We'll come back in and, and kind of fix all that. Some of these are. A little bit here in this area. Watch this. Little stuff here. Get some color there. Pull it over. Oh, I like that. And I'm just touching and just bouncing this thing around. Trying to get some color on there. Okay. This is it. Okay. A little more there here. Kind of just touch. You can use whatever. Edge is important, okay? Again, come over here. Got some more of that color. Put it out there. Put it on the tip, and then just have some, you're gonna have some more color in here. You have some coming down here. Okay, just grab the back of that. Let's do some. Okay, just let it break. So you can come straight down here. There's a little bit coming here. There, see that? And over here, you can kind of come back in and touch some of this dark here. Just let it bounce, just do its thing, okay? okay well that's got some dark in there. Down here, we'll just kind of move that. See, these give you a lot of... I'm just trying to follow the lay of the land. This has got a little peak here that comes this way. Kind of goes up. Okay, up into here. There we go. And here, let me try this. This is all going to be kind of this way. It's coming straight down a little bit. Just kind of pull that in. Go down. Keep in mind, because we get to come back and put highlights and stuff in and, and everything, so we'll have some. There. It's a good little piece there, but we got to come in and try to break it up a little bit. There. Does that make it look any more real? Okay. I think it looks pretty good. I think we'll get away with it. Um, wipe this off. Get some white. Okay. Blue in there. Maybe a little blue in there. Remember now we talked about the whites and stuff, but like over in here, I'm just gonna come in here and grab some. I want this peak here, pull him over, just let the paint touch and break like that, okay? And I'm just finding areas where there's paint, where we have snow, where we don't. There's my picture, comes that way. I got I have some control here, so I gotta have a little okay, maybe a little maybe comes up this way. That. How's that look? Got a little stuff going on there. Get some more blue. Little blue in some of these areas, like in here, there's some paint snow in there, but it's bluer. See? So come in and mix some of that blue in there. See? Even there. Yeah, that looks good. That's snow, but it's uh, a little more white in there. But we want to make sure that it's coming down. More. There's some in here. I like that. That gives it a little more color. Okay, because this picture has a lot of a little color in it, but we need to. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of that blue right in here. Okay. Like in this area. See, I'm just pulling down, grabbing some lighter blue, just giving some shadows in there. There's a lot of shadows, but this will make it. Maybe pop a little more. I don't know. Grab it this way. Oh, yes. There we go. Grab that blue. Okay. Ooh. 
See? You want to make it look like snow in there. And I think that's doing a pretty good job. I like that. Okay. All right. And it takes a little time when you got your brush and stuff. So let's come back in and get some white. I want some white. white. Okay. I'm going to have to pick up some more white, I think. Okay. almost want pure white here. We'll see. Okay. On some of these highlights. And there's a little bit of light. Watch this. I'm going to go backwards with the knife. And then there's no. Let's go this way. Okay. And up here, there's paint. You just, you just touch. Get it up there and just have fun. Can't really mess this up. Anyway. There's a little uh, snow coming down there. Okay. See how I'm trying to get that to come down? Make some cool colors there. Need some more paint or white. So let's get that white. Some nice white on the palette. Okay, we're just going to keep going. Um, let's see, what are we doing here? 36 minutes. Okay, that's all right. Get some nice, try to get some more white on there. Okay. Oh, there's what I want. Look at that. Okay. Down here. Oh, yeah. Down here. This little piece here is going to have to be white. Let's see, just touch, just pull it. See that? Let it break. That come down and break. Okay, that's dark there. Maybe right up here. We can come again and just pull the heel down. Open it up. Let it break. Come this way with it. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's see, maybe there's a little bit right here. Pull that out. Let it come this way. You can break it this way. Whatever. Just what I'm doing. I'm just trying to create some light spots in there. Okay. Over here, right here. Just let it touch, pull it back if you want. There, over here, there's a little peak that comes just like this. Make it smaller. It comes right here. Pull that down. I'm just gonna poke them right out of the clouds there, a little peak. You know, and I gotta have little things in there to, you know, I'll sit on here. And I'm gonna try to get a little wobbly here. Okay. Over here, we've got a ton that's going to come down. See? Pull that way. There's a little piece that comes over like this. Maybe a little rounded piece there. There. Okay. Nice. I like it. And then there's ridges and stuff in here. Maybe here. Come in and do this. And you can kind of go this way with it. Just let it break. There, okay. Now what's up in here? See that? Right under Everest, there's some little areas in there where you might have some, right here, this little peak, watch this. Kind of pull one in there. You gotta get it all in there. And then there's a little bit on the lip there, maybe just a little bit coming down here. See, not much. There, touch, lightly. You know, that comes down. Oh yeah, and there's a little bit here. You can see a little bit right on this edge. It might look funny at first, but I think it's what we want. Watch this, yeah, watch this. And it just kind of brings itself over. I'm just using the knife this way, which works too. There we go. There it is. So I think that looks good. We'll use that, and then over here, I want to get lighter. There's a little bit of paint right there on the top. Look at that. We want it white, and it comes down. See, just touch. Is my head in the way? Hope not. There we go. Pull that up. Get some white there. Pull that white there. there. Does that look a little better? Yeah, I think it looks good. It's got some good, good stuff going on. Okay, so I want to do one thing here, this little peak in the back here. That little peak right there, I want it to be light. A little bit there. There, a little 
we'll use that, put that peak in. And let's see, I know there's a lot. I'm gonna grab another one here, like right here, there might be a little peak coming down. Grab and touch here. I need to just, you're just trying to create some indications in there and some things happening in there. Okay, and down here, I'm gonna pull these a little bit, maybe just touch them and pull them down this way. Maybe that one's coming that way. That got a little globby there, didn't it? That's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, so there, I like that. I like the way it is. I wanna come in here, get a little dark in here, a little dark in this area. Okay, dark in there. There's a little dark in here, maybe break in this way. Mix that up a little more. Over here, I might want a little bit. Let's get some of that blue. There we go. Over here, there's stuff coming down here a little bit there. I don't know. See that? Break it up a little bit. Some dark in there. Pull that way or whatever kind of makes it look rugged and uh, hard to climb. Okay, all right, so that looks pretty good there. Um, 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 let's grab some more of that dark. Let me just kind of, oh, let's do it this way. Come back up here and see, watch this. Pull that down a little bit. I'm just trying to get in here and get some dark. And some, pull it up into there. And sometimes you pull that in and pull it out, it looks good. up a little bit right there. There, let me get a little more. The rest comes up a little bit right there. There. I like that better. Okay, and then I want to get some more of this light blue that I was using. Get some light there. This will make it maybe make it pop a little more down here. Like there's some areas where there's some little things in there. There. See? a little bit here and there. Mix that in there. See that blue? Gives a little more. I like it. In the shadow areas a little bit. Let it dance in there. Let's see that a little bit there. Just kind of come in and you can do it this way too. Same thing, just touch and let it bounce a little bit. Here and there. Here and there. Looks a little bit dark in here. I don't want it. Just trying to come in and Make some indications of some stuff happening. Okay, over here you can do it. A little bit here, maybe. A little bit there, touching it there. Give me some more of that blues, more white. Okay, maybe more dark in there. There we go. I'm just mixing a little on the on the knife here. Okay, a little bit there, maybe. Just letting the knife just bounce around and let it do its job. Okay, there. A little more here. There. Pull it over, let it break some of it off the, the white. Okay, maybe a little bit in here. Oh, not much. Not much in here, maybe a little more down at the bottom. Right in here. Mess around with it till you. Okay. There. Okay. Well, what do you think? I think it's got some good stuff in it. Let's get down and finish this thing up. We're gonna have to pull that down some more. Get some of that dark in there. Get some of this blue down in here too. You know, it just. Kind of get, makes it look good, doesn't it? Makes it look like some, maybe some. There, I like this. Some of these paintings, you just do them fast and they, they turn out pretty good, I think. Okay, all right. How's that look? I think I want to do one more thing down here. Get some white. Okay. 
come down here. And this might not be the way it goes, but uh, there's a peak that comes this way. Yeah, so we're gonna come here. Watch this. Right in here, it goes like, There. Just breaks it up a little more, makes it look a little more interesting. Harder to climb. Okay. Anything else? And then this one here, I'll do a little more with. Okay. This peak here, I want it to come up back here. Just put it off this way. I want that to come down a little more. Come here. There. See that? A lot of paint on here so there so it just gives you ideas of a little more stuff happening in there okay not bad okay and i want to go a little try a little more i know i don't want too much of this but i want to get a little more light up in here okay on this side here a little bit so i'm just gonna put that a little bit like that okay i know it's kind of hard to see does that give it a little more Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I don't think I ruined it too light, did I? Not too bright. I want to get a little more blue in there. So that looks good. Put that down. No, too much that way. You could, but then we'll come back in. Um, there, we can kind of grab those, those little peaks in there. And I think that's good. I like it. Okay. Now, okay, take this. We've got to come back in here and do this, okay? We've got to come down here and kind of touch and pull the bottoms out again, right? See, we're going to pick up some paint. That's okay. And just kind of pull the angles you want. There's a lot of paint on here, but that's okay. Maybe go up there, grab it, pull. I'm wiping as I go. See, there's some dark under there, too. That one might go this way a little bit. You know, in some areas, like maybe over here, it goes this way. Maybe there's a little peak there that goes that way. You know, just whatever. It's pretty, it's not hard to do. Okay, in some areas you can go higher. Okay, some areas you don't want to go as high. You want them to be there, there. Then we're going to grab some white, come in the base here and touch some white in there. And even mind, we're going to have clouds in here, but just be kind of sitting back a little bit here and there. There, I want that light. Okay, how's that look? Okay, so it's just misty. Okay, misty. Okay, well, let's come back in and do some more clouds. I'm going to take, guess what, another white. Some good white here. Some white, that should be enough. Okay. 48 minutes. There's that fan brush I tried earlier. We'll come back in and work with that a little bit. Okay? Get some clouds in here. There we go. See? That looks good. Come down a little more. Maybe I went up too high. I want those clouds in there. There. See? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? A lot of paint on the brush. I'm gonna come down and just layer them. We want them to look like clouds. I think it looks like. And we're gonna just push this fan brush in. Okay? So it looks like it's just sitting in the clouds. I think that's looking all right. Isn't it? Yeah. And then we'll come back in with this big brush. I might need something smaller. Oh, this can be we're just like the doing just missing them out this is very light touch because you've got a lot of paint on there it'll be a little easier but I don't want to but up towards the mountains just like it is I don't want to that looks pretty good actually just kind of wiping them out see barely touch barely touch there's the cloud sitting in there that looks crooked but it's not, trust me. It's just the way the camera angle is. And come back in and put some more in. You know, some of these are 
excuse me. Okay. I'm going to try this brush again that I used earlier. Actually, on the bottom, I think I'm going to maintain my, hold on, give me a second. See? Look how all your dark, okay? Look how all the dark in there. We can come in and look at that. I like it. Okay, come in here with this brush again. Just lighten it up. Just barely touch it. Just to set them back. Okay? All right, more paint. Come back down here. Okay, keep in mind, this is getting closer to us, right? These ones, we get closer. Trying just to smash in some cloud looking shapes, right? And kind of make it a little bit more. Come back in with this brush. stuff maybe pulling them up a little angle them though go across what do you think okay and you can come in down here and then just kind of do the same thing finish it off you know these clouds sometimes you can have them there okay it just looks like a bed of clouds that's sitting in there and Probably like that a lot up on Mount Everest, isn't it? Okay, come back with this, barely touch. Just kind of blend them out. Okay, maybe come up and do this. Pull them up a little. I don't want them all to, I don't want to lose them all, but that's kind of what we want. See that? See that? Now, another thing I just thought about is we can come in and grab some of that blue blue, not a lot of it, come in here, okay, bury some of the clouds, not much, where you have some little indications here and there, lighter as it gets there, just some little indications under the clouds, let's see, let's see how that goes, mm, I don't know, I don't want to knock it all away, let's see what happens. There's some stuff in there. Come back in with this one. Okay. Stir them up a little bit. Doesn't look too bad, does it? That's too much, but that's okay. Stir them. back in and throw some more clouds in there but I think that'll be fine I think it, we know what we're looking at clouds and clouds and it looks good and maybe here you know up against here we can soften it a little bit maybe pull those, some of those up There. How's that look? Okay. Well, I think we've got a finished painting here, and uh, I think we'll call it a day. I'm going to have some fun with this one, though, on this side, and hopefully we'll be done. I'm going to use crimson just for something to do. Okay. There we go. Hopefully you guys had a good day today, and... Enjoy the rest of your day, P, my initials, and there it is. So thank you again, and uh, everybody have a wonderful day.